I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm making a mashed potato pie. This is a great recipe for leftover mashed potatoes. I found this recipe in one of my older cookbooks, and it sounded really good, so I thought I would give it a try. I made a couple adjustments, it turned out great, and I wanted to share it with you all. I'm starting by adding a half a stick of butter to my saucepan along with one cup of finely diced onions, and I'm using a sweet onion. I have my heat on medium-low, and I'm just going to let them saute for about five minutes, and then I'm adding two finely minced cloves of garlic. Stirring and cooking for an additional minute or two, removing from the heat, and letting it cool. Here I have two cups of leftover mashed potatoes from last night's dinner. These are fairly smooth, but you can leave the mashed potatoes in little chunks for some texture. I'm adding my cool butter and onions and some black pepper. I'm not adding any salt because my potatoes were already seasoned, plus I will be adding some cheese. Next, I have one tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley, a half a cup of grated sharp cheddar cheese, and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, and a half a cup of whole milk giving that all a good mix to make sure everything is well combined. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. All that mashed potato goodness is going right into an unbaked pie crust, topping with the remainder of the cheddar and Parmesan cheese. Going to bake this for 35 to 45 minutes or until it sets up and a toothpick comes out clean. If you like this mashed potato pie recipe, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also find me and more of what I'm cooking on Facebook and Test Cooks For You blog. It's been 45 minutes and the mashed potato pie is done. Oh wow, this is smelling so good. Going to let it rest for 15 minutes and then we'll have a taste. This is a great recipe and you can really make it your own by adding the seasonings, veggies, and even meat of your choice. The pie is to be served warm and can be for breakfast, brunch, or a side dish. We really enjoyed this mashed potato pie and hope you give it a try. Enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.